Thank you. Um, Representative Hansen. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And following up on Representative Clark's comments, um, it might, and a lot of times we use jargon here in uh, the exchange with uh, staff on providing a placeholder. It, maybe the folks watching at home, uh, I think it's important to maybe use plain language that this budget actually has a $1.9 million cut. There's actually a cut to the budget. And so what we're talking about with Urban Ag and talking to people and talking to the governor and talking to the speaker is trying to resolve that there's not additional money for other priorities. And folks at home watching might not be clear about that. So what we're talking about with trying to provide a hook in the bill is to provide the process that's happened last year at the end of session, which is that something comes back from conference. So we're really counting on the DFL Senate to save us from ourselves by providing more money for these projects rather than taking money from different projects or having a budget target that provided for these projects. So we're talking about what we're going to talk to these people and have the conversation. But when it goes into conference committee and the bill comes out, there's no opportunity for amendment. And as we learned with many issues last year, we didn't even know what the consequences were of some of them. So we could have a bill in front of us that had a higher target, that funded things, and it would be clear enough that the people's representatives, who we are, would have the vote on that. What we're doing here is providing a procedural process where we're not going to vote on it until it's, the deal's done. And I can't think of how many times in the last year since the special session ended where people referenced deals that who knew where who knew who was involved in the deal. When we vote here today, people can see how we vote. We could have moved amendments and we chose not to have amendments to try to fix this. Um, as a legislature we have to do a better job not defaulting to a conference committee. We move too much to the end have the leaders make the decision rather than have a public process where we can make the decision. And I would hope, Mr. Chair, that uh, any of these ideas actually get vetted uh, before the final bill appears, whenever it appears, uh, if it appears at 3 in the morning. So we don't have to have a long discussion on the floor about what does this mean. We've been down that road already. And I don't think people have well, Representative Hansen, I'm going to open this up. You know, the time is uh, its the middle of the day. It's 11 o'clock. You had the opportunity to offer up amendments, and you chose not to. You just said that. You know, if you want to turn this par partisan, I am, I'm not going to do it here in this committee, but I'm ready for the House floor, the debate on the House floor. And some of the things last year was the budget year, and we increased the budget from right around $80 million up to $117 million for the ag budget. We took the Department of Ag and we the wonderful people over there. They were struggling to meet their statutory requirements as it pertained to food safety. And we passed a bill, bipartisan bill, that allowed the department to increase the FTEs by almost 40 people so that they can meet and protect the consumers of this great state. We invested in research. We also invested in farm business management that was on life support with the, with the individuals that uh, controlled the house prior, uh, prior to us. We have done a number of things in this bill in the budget year, which was last year. And we want to do more. I agree we want to do more. And that's why we're doing some of the things that we're doing currently, because we also understand the way this place works and through negotiations, et cetera. But I have a whole list of great things that we collectively have done in this committee for agriculture, collectively. And if we want to have this discussion, I'm, gonna, I'm going to reframe here at this meeting today, but I am eager to have this discussion on the House floor. Eager to have it on the House floor. Representative Hanson. 
Chair, you know that we can't, uh, if your target is your target, we can't spend any more than that target. And I don't think we want to engage in taking money from other pots of money. That's what, that's what the bill does. It takes money from less than a year ago appropriated for a crisis. We don't know if there's going to be another crisis. This is a huge roll of the dice. So I think we should reflect back to what Representative Poppy said. We have this conversation about not what happened last year or what happened the last two years, but what's in front of us right now. Mm -hmm. And what's in front of us right now is appropriating money that was appropriated for other purposes, a budget target that is a cut, that doesn't allow us, and I could make a motion, but it's out of order to go above your budget target. We can't, we can't spend money we don't have. You don't have the target. Representative Hanson, like you said, you could, you could have amendments to transfer money to things that are important to you. That's my point. I don't want to transfer. Mo I don't want to take money out of other pots that are appropriate. For it. So you and support the I language in the bill? No, I don't support taking money from other purposes. You are in charge. You guys are in charge. You, as a chair, have the opportunity to talk to your leadership That's right. and ask for a bigger target. You didn't get it. You got to cut. <laughs> and that's what we have to deal with. And for my constituents, I'm voting to say that's not right to take from the other pots of money. I may be the only one. But dissent is not a crime. Any other questions? Representative Anderson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I don't have a question. I just have a comment. I don't know where this fits in this discussion, but um, I want to thank you for the bill, actually. I'm a business guy. I'm actually comfortable with this model. <clears throat> Looking at the bottom number, somebody might say that this is a cut. Okay, I get that. But in the end, just by looking at a number does not give you, give you results. If we spent more money last year, and uh, this year this number looks like a cut, well, I, for everything that we've heard for testimony this year, there's been a lot of good that's been done by this committee. And just because this number is less than uh, a higher target, that doesn't mean that we're going to do less. We could actually do more with less, and that's what I'm assuming that we are actually doing based on everything that's come through this committee that this number does not mean that we're going to be doing less. We're doing more with less. As a business guy, I can understand that as a, as a model. Not just, the numbers don't tell me everything. It's what are we doing with it. And that's why the, the overall uh, review of, of what I see on the table for this year's numbers and projects, this is a good bill. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Representative Anderson. Any other questions or comments? Representative Keel? Or I'm sorry, Representative Bly. <clears throat> Thank you, Chair. And um, I just wanted to echo a little bit of what Representative Hansen was saying in the sense that I, 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 um, I haven't decided how I'm going to vote, uh, but uh, I am uncomfortable with moving the money around, as I've indicated before. I, I don't uh, I want to say, I, I mean, I don't, I don't criticize you. I know the hand that you've been dealt. And um, it's, it, as you said, it's the the process at work and you have to make it work how you can. Um, uh, I think it's unfortunate that we're put in this position and um, I, uh, but I, I, I'm struggling, I'm struggling with it. So I just wanted you to know that and uh, give you that, uh, that uh, um, comment. Um, I, I share uh, some of the comments that Representative Hansen made and that it's, it's a disappointment with the way the process is working and and not with you, not with your efforts, because I know you've tried hard. Uh, and I, I have to say, I, I believe you've been fair in hearing bills and making sure that we all have a chance to participate in this. And I do appreciate that. So, uh, but I'm, I'm uncomfortable with the process. Thank you, Representative Bly. Any other questions? Representative Keel, Vice Chair Keel. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I too want to thank you for the. Uh, success in the Ag Committee and feel really good about what we're doing here today. And uh, with that, I also would like to ask for a roll call. A uh, roll call has been requested. So there will be a roll call. Mm -hmm. 
Representative Fabian. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Only one vote for Representative Johnson. <laughs> Duly noted. Representative Kala Johnson. <laughs> well, Mr. Chair and Representative Fabian, I was just practicing saying aye aye. <laughs> All right. Uh, no more discussion. The clerk will take the roll. Hamilton? Yes. Keel? Yes. Mark Anderson? Yes. Paul Anderson? Aye. Applebaum? Yes. Bly? No. Clark? Yes. Daniels? Aye. Eklund? Yes. Fabian? Yes. Grunhagen? Hanson? No. Johnson? Aye. Lewick? Aye. Metza? Aye, aye. <laughs> Miller? Yes. Pearson? Yes. Poppy? Aye. Sundin? Aye. With there being 18 ayes and, excuse me, I'm sorry. With there being 16 ayes and two nays, the motion prevails.